Hey guys, welcome back to another collective manga haul. So today I have two packages and this was originally going to be for my previous collective manga haul that I filmed. However, that one was just, it was already getting long so I decided to just save these for another collective manga haul. So here we are. I feel like I film a lot of hauls but I think at the shows I just I have a spending problem but yeah I'm so excited I cannot wait so let's open them up so we'll first start off with the book depository package I feel like I haven't opened up a book depository package in so long I swear I used to open them so much but I feel like now I've really like calmed down with it but here we are with another one Honestly, so satisfying to open. Oh my gosh, and it is Yen of the Dawn Volume 12. I'm so happy. So, of course, just slowly getting Yona as I say every single time, but I am so happy, honestly, to have this so i think it's very obvious what is in the next package and i'm so excited but this like generally is such a pretty cover like yona is so pretty in this but i'm so happy to have yona and then we have this one which is like it's like really packaged in i bought this from a seller i haven't before so I'm interested to see the condition of this. Oh my gosh, this is like so like packaged like tightly. Oh my gosh, that was a struggle. Like Amazon could never, honestly. But oh my gosh, I am so happy. So with this volume, I now have a clean run from volumes 1 to 15, 16, one of those two. And I'm just so happy. I did pay just a little bit extra for this, um, but I really wanted to just get this volume because I really do want to read the... Um, continue reading Yona and getting past the anime so I didn't pay like it like an insane amount um I did wait a bit but this volume was like not in stock anywhere besides this place so I just caved and got it but I'm so happy to finally whoa the bromance <laughs> but yeah I'm just so happy cannot wait oh my gosh so this definitely looks like it's this is still from the anime but i'm so happy oh my gosh so yeah i got two yona volumes and oh, you'll still be seeing more because i still have a lot to go to but just slowly i'm getting that and i'm just so happy to be getting the reprints i'm thank you this for reprinting this series you are like blessing us all because i'm just so happy so yeah that is it for this clip and i will see you guys in the next one bye hey guys welcome back to another clip so today i have a anime figure i swear like now just my manga hauls you're just gonna see at least one figure because i've just been buying Quite a few. <laughs>
not gonna lie so i have one figure today and this is from akimomo so this is my first time purchasing from them and i'm really excited to see the quality of like their packaging and stuff because um they are a australian site so if you are in australia um here's a chance to just kind of see them because they do actually offer free shipping in australia which is really good honestly um and it's something i really like and they have figures that wouldn't be on other sites like chinese figures and stuff or like chinese exclusive figures and there's like resin statues i think as well on that side so i recommend just taking a look especially if you're trying to find a figure that may just be exclusive to a country or something and kind of just see what they have so i'm very excited for this figure because this is one that wasn't on like army army and stuff it just wasn't selling i think because it's an exclusive i really don't know but yeah so the box is kind of tall as you can see but there is like this um aki momo like tape which is kind of cute but yeah let's open this up i am so sorry that you cannot see anything I literally tried stacking my tripod up with stuff, but still, but yeah. Okay, that was pretty simple. This is definitely like a nice treat for me because I did just finish an exam today. So yeah. So sad. I can't properly show this. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So, oh. I'm so sorry. Like, everything I get is just like fangirling because oh, past me could not imagine getting like all these like figures because I used to collect um, figures like way back like three four years ago however i only got price figures and androids and androids to me was like expensive so i never thought of getting scales but now i don't i just like now that i have a job and stuff like a proper job that i'm getting paid like every week even though like i'm still in school but like i think because i'm still in school you know i don't have to pay bills and stuff so um I'm able to I have a lot of like extra money that I can just use to spend on my hobbies so I'm just so happy anyway sorry that was a little bit of a tangent but let's take this out packaging seems pretty good because the box wasn't like completely um the size of the box so they added like cardboard to the side and stuff to make it like stable which i really like and then the actual um figure itself is packaged up in bubble wrap which is really nice okay let's take it out of the bubble wrap But practically, here is the figure. So if you do not know, this is Kane. He is a um, YouTuber from Niji Sanji, um, from Japan, Japanese, Japan, Niji Sanji. Um, so this is by Kurobukiya, and this is a 1.7th scale. The minute I saw this, I knew I had to get it, but generally, I did not know where I could find it. Um, the only other place I saw was on Solaris, but it was sold out. So, <laughs> I got it on Aki Momo when I saw it, and I was so happy. Oh my gosh, it is such a cute figure. I don't know which face I want because they're both so cute. But yeah, this is like a really like oddly shaped box, I feel like. It feels like, so like squish but like so tall <laughs> if that makes sense oh my gosh but the box is honestly super cute i have to say 
Oh my gosh. So, um, Kane, I would say is like definitely like one of the only um VTubers I watch. I don't really watch um many VTubers, but he was like the first one I discovered and he's the reason why I even know what VTubers are. But yeah, I love his videos so much. I highly recommend them. Um you can definitely find just like English um like subtitle clips around and stuff so I definitely recommend that um that's just how I watch his content and stuff or sometimes I just play his streams in the background but yeah so let's take him out of the box And here are the instructions. So it's just in this bag. In the instructions, just for the swapping of the head. So here is his like um, closed eyed smile. One thing I notice immediately is like his hair is like very shiny. It's like super shiny. I do see some like scuffs, uh, which is kind of annoying. I feel like the hair is just like there's like minimal shading, but it's like. I would say it's quite like just a solid base color. Anyway, let's get the actual figure out. Okay, so. It's massive. I like. I see photos and videos, and it seems so small. But like, actually having it, it's so big. Like, one seventh scales are massive for me. Like, I know that like they're like probably the standard size of figures, but one seventh are so big. Oh my gosh! I. Uh, I was gonna say I look at a similar chair. I do not. Um. I think my brother actually has a similar chair like this, but oh my gosh, this chair is like really nice. And it's like, oh my gosh, you can even spin it. Oh, that's so cool. Um, There's like no shading or anything, but I don't really think it, it doesn't need it. Like, I, I think this honestly looks pretty, like, realistic to an actual, like, gaming chair. It has, like, all the, like, um, components and stuff, and that's honestly so cool. And the fact it just spins is so cool. Okay, time for the actual figure. Oh, let's just take his head off. So that goes in pretty easily and comes out pretty easily. Oh my gosh. He looks so good. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. You see like the um, wrinkles of the clothing. Oh my gosh. And the details of his like um, 
clothing. Sorry, my my mind just blinked there. And he even has like his iconic cat plushie, which is so cute. Um, so practically this bottom part is like flat as you can see, so it just like sits on the base. It definitely does look a bit funny just looking at it, but yeah. He just like goes in easily. This is such a nice figure. I'm so happy with it. Could it be cute? It's such a good job on this, honestly. I love it so, 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 so much. I think if you're a Ninji Sanji fan or Kanye fan, you will definitely be very happy with this figure. There is also the Kusaha figure, which I, spoiler alert, I also got. So I'm just waiting for that to um, come out. And um, I will have them together because you can just pair them and oh, I just love it. I love, like, I feel like so many of the figures I have have just like really simple bases. So it's always so nice to see when a figure does something a little bit extra. And I love how it's like a sitting one. And I just, oh, I think it's just, it goes so well because he's VTuber, you know, streaming, gaming, all of that. And I'm so glad they decided to do this instead of just maybe like a basic standing figure. But let's switch his face now to the other one because I do want to see him with that one. Ah, come out. Okay. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I, I really don't know which face I want. Hmm, I really don't know. I, I really like this one. I think this is really cute. I'll probably keep him with that, but I just noticed he also has them all. It, they like captured all his details. Um, And I think like it looks like practically identical to his um model. Um, So I'm so happy with this. And he just like goes in there and it's so cute i don't have a sitting figure i think so i'm so happy to have this to my collection sorry this unboxing and such was just ugh, terrible I, I i do apologize but i'm so happy with this figure um so yeah that is everything i got in this clip and i'll see you guys in the next one bye hey guys welcome so today i have another package so this is from cd japan and i made the dumb 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 decision to browse on the store and we all know browsing isn't just browsing so i ended up buying some things because there was something i really wanted there was this you'll see what i mean um i wanted to get it before it would run out of stock because i would not be bothered to go to like a proxy and buy it so yeah so i'm very excited to show you guys what i've got so let's open it up I think this has been the worst um, unboxing yet on my channel. Um, I do apologize for that. Um, I just could not be bothered. So I was just like, let's just rip it open. So yeah. <laughs> but Okay, I'm so excited. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, okay. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm so sorry for the fangirling you're going to be here. Oh my gosh, okay. So I'll start off with the manga and then I'll move on to the magazine. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, I will pull them out one by one. So the first thing I got was oh, oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is a BL. This is just one volume and this has to be genuinely one of the most beautiful BLs I've written. It is I mean I've read. It's so beautiful. The art, the story. Um practically it's about this blind guy and this assassin and you see how they form a connection and it is genuinely so beautiful i highly recommend you guys go check it out i'm pretty sure it is um digitally licensed i would love if um this gets uh printed into english i can definitely see it happening i can definitely see either like yen press or seven seas um publishing this physically and if that does happen you know i will be getting it but i i read it and i just like fell in love with it i reread it multiple times since i first read it because it is genuinely so beautiful so i just had to get the physical volume for this to support the mangaka because i did get um i did read it for skins so yeah oh my gosh like look how pretty it is oh my gosh they're so off oh my gosh actually so beautiful My only complaint is that I wished it was longer. I would have loved to see more of their relationship um, because uh, they do get together. However, we don't truly um, see like what they do once they're together. And I'm like, I want to see just cute day-to-day -day life activities for them. Like, please, bro, they're so they're so so cute. I love them so much, and I love this story. I love the art. I generally just like love this feel and i have heard so many praises like so many people have praised the series so i highly recommend you guys go check it out because it is definitely like worth the read it's only one volume i think it's like six or six chapters so like please just do yourself a favor and go read this because it is amazing okay so you know speaking of feel i got another one um, so I'll put the titles because I don't know them in um, Japanese, but this is definitely, um, whilst the other one was definitely more um, melancholic and more dramatic and more serious in tone, I would say this definitely is more of a, as you can tell, um, based on the covers, this one's definitely more of a comedic one and it's so good. I reread this, I think, like three to four times. Um, okay, boring cover but oh my gosh so there is a second volume to this so i am planning on getting that but practically it's about um these two guys they're like part of different groups of like um they like um prevent crime and stuff and this guy actually secretly likes him but he doesn't know how to express his feelings so he kind of just always acts really rude and um says a lot of like snide comments to him um however they do end up forming a connection and it's so good um you do see that they have some sort of past together nothing like too crazy it's just that they did know each other before and that's why he um likes him and it is so 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 good um this volume is definitely more of them getting together and in the second volume we see definitely um them as a established couple so i love this series um it's such a good bl honestly and i highly recommend you guys go check it out once again only two volumes um you can read this one and be completely satisfied honestly however i don't know i feel like the second volume just them being an established couple is amazing so yeah and then the final manga for oh my gosh okay <laughs> 
I'm crying. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I've actually like. Oh my gosh. So I got the um <clears throat> seven volume of. It takes more than a pretty face for me to fall in love. I think that's the English title. Um, so I only have volume one of this. However, I um was just kind of browsing and I saw that this volume came out and there was a special edition. And you know me and special editions, like if it's a series I love, I'm going to get it. So I saw this. I saw that even the special edition and the regular are like two different covers. Um, and it has him on the cover who... um is my favorite character he gives me such strong second lead syndrome honestly it's so good and it's not just the cover but we also get an illustration book so obviously i am definitely more inclined to pick up special editions if it comes with like an extra booklet illustration book so i just had to get it and this was the main reason why i made this purchase so yeah i didn't want this to go out of stock so i had to get it so let's open it I would, I would love to uh, i would like to say that this series like their fashion is honestly like amazing the fashion is so good like if you could not tell already oh my gosh okay so yeah nothing too crazy but oh yeah and then the mangaka recently started a bl series which i definitely will read Okay, this definitely goes past what I've um read in the uh, manga so far. Because I am catching this up through scares. Oh yeah, I think I'm only on like chapter 20 something that's out. So yeah, this is completely different. Um, Sorry, this is completely ahead of what I've read. But I'm just so happy. Oh my gosh, I'm just so happy to have this. And now, we are going to go through this. Oh, it takes more than pretty face to fall in love. Okay. I'm so sorry for the fangirling. You're going to hear. Just. Oh, okay. So. Oh, sorry. That's just so funny. Oh, my. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay. As you can see, like, oh, the fashion is just impeccable. Oh, my gosh. wow just i'm definitely going to be doing a quick google translate on this so so the ooh, so this was definitely more of a sorry not illustration booklet a special booklet sort of thing um but i'm still so happy to own this because that means extra content for me to read so i will be doing a google translate on that but i'm so happy like even the cover alone is so cute oh my gosh oh okay so that is all the manga i got we are now moving on to the magazine and <clears throat> um there was a specific reason why I did get this magazine. So I've never actually um, gotten this uh, magazine before. Um, usually the magazines I get are all um, shoujo magazines. So this is different. But I don't know exactly, like Pash, this is what the magazine is. I don't know exactly what kind of shows and like what kind of like animes and such 
they advertise because they do like ad as you can see they like advertise like the donghuas and then um the animes i don't know what exactly is their theme and such um but yeah i mean i'm not complaining this is saki Mania and yano and blue lock so how can i complain oh okay so main reason why i wanted to get this was not just because of the magazine cover but because there were some inclusions so first we have the sasaki and miyano um clear file um i am a fake fan i actually have not watched the anime i'm still reading the manga um but i am planning on watching the anime eventually um i probably will read the manga first and then i watch um watch the anime because i do want to watch the movie which is coming out on crunchyroll soon so very excited for that and then <clears throat> i really wanted a blue lock poster so ah uh, you know what i had to do i had to get this so i'm i'm obviously gonna hang this up okay it's really big um uh, but here is the first size so it's i forgot the name oh my gosh actually kill me um M mxtxr series i this is the one i actually have not read out of the novels i have read well i am reading heaven's official blessing right now i'm just going through the physicals and i've nearly finished reading um scum villain this is the last one I've yet to read or watch or anything or consume any sort of media of this. So, um, so far, no attachment to these characters, but I am uh, waiting until I read it and then watch me be like obsessed. But, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here is the poster. They're so cute. Isagi. so if you guys are wondering my favorite character is isagi um i also love say isagi and say are like my favorites i also really love rin but i definitely prefer say um i also really like rio and Ch chigori those are definitely my favorites i would say so yeah but oh my gosh we've got nagi as well who is my friend's favorite so yeah uh, Rin and Nagi are like my friend's favorite and then Isagi and Sei are like my favorites so yeah oh my gosh this is so cute I'm gonna have to like redo my wall again but I'm so excited cannot wait to put that up on my wall I definitely would like to do a room tour or something like that uh I don't know when though it's not gonna lie um but I would like to do one. Just leave it like that. And then the Sasaki Miyano clear file. And I will quickly go through this magazine because I would like to see what's actually inside. Oh, this is upside down. Inside these magazines. Oh, yeah, sorry. And here is the other side. So this is the March magazine. So let's see. See, they got, I think, it's, see, these are like the enemies that are coming out, they got bloody daddies. They have taken revengers, but I'm not exactly sure. So, oh my gosh. Okay, okay. I want to quickly go through this, however. Oh, oh my gosh. That is so pretty. That is amazing. <gasps> blue lock, blue lock, blue lock. So, I, uh, as of filming this, I have two episodes to watch. Oh my gosh. And, um, and then I'll be done, and then I will be reading the manga, and obviously picking them up, because, uh, why would I not read? I, I'm debating whether I want to watch the dong first, or if I want to, um, read the novels i have but i do have all four um just missing the last one this is another series i would love love to watch it seems so cute and i'm always here for like uh oh i'm always here for um uh father and daughter sort of relationship uh this looks like adelish seven no idea what this is sorry i'm just gonna be going through this because i don't want to spend too long sorry this isn't this isn't even Tokyo revengers i thought it was Tokyo revengers I'm, I'm an actual idiot this is not Tokyo revengers i don't know why i thought Tokyo revengers would be in this i'm just thinking about all the bullshit i've been saying <gasps> Bingo Shadow Dogs! This is another one that I used to. Oh, stop me! Bingo Shadow Dogs is another one. I'm so bad for watching any anime. Oh, psych! There is Sekiro Revengers. I am. Oh my gosh. There is Sekiro. Oh! Oh, Trigon. Oh, wait, I'm so confused. Okay, you know what? Just ignore every. <gasps> Ensemble Stars! Oh my gosh, Ensemble Stars. Um, let's see. Is Nico here? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. I didn't know it's This magazine actually has like a lot of um, series I'm into and stuff. Oh, you get um. Another post 
stuff. So this one, if you really want, you can wear it. Oh my gosh. Like, I don't know. Um, I don't know who that is. Oh, body daddies. And this one. I mean, if I do have a body and I want so much, I can always like dig it out. I'll, I'll be definitely scared, but I'll probably just get um. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Um, so if you guys, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, um, I'm a big project surprise. This, this is the cover, wow, they even cover everything. I love this and, um, the other magazine, I forgot the name. They both, like, cover so many things I'm interested in. I really like this magazine. Oh my gosh, they, look, the top side in. Wow, I really want to know, like, what exactly is, like, the theme of VTubers, that's cool. You see, new VTubers, like, a feature. Oh my gosh, the Project Sakai merchant, do you see that? Oh my gosh. Actually, I love this magazine, wow. So, I think this is, like, some raffle thing, probably. But, yeah. That is the um merch. That is the magazine. So this is everything I got for today's haul. So yeah, and I will see you guys in the next clip. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to another clip. So today I have a haul because I recently went shopping to Books Kino Kunia because I went out with a friend. I should have a vlog showing that sometime in the future. It really depends on how many clips or like days I want to film. So you'll eventually see that in the near future, whenever that is. But um, I just have this to show you guys because I had another $150 voucher to use so obviously I used it all to buy books so I got some more expensive manga and such because obviously if I'm going to be using a voucher I would want to get the more expensive things but I'm very excited to show you guys what I got so I'll pull them out one by one first thing I got is in the clear moonlit dusk volume 3 these have been coming out really fast surprisingly i swear i just got volume 2 recently and then suddenly volume 3 is already out but i'm not complaining i'm really happy with the fast releases however i will say the like texture of this is different in comparison to volume 1 and 2 so i don't know why they decided to change it I'm really curious as to what as as to what height this will match, whether the volume one or two, because the volume one and two, there is a big height difference between them. So I will say despite the fast releases, there did there definitely does seem to be some printing um like some issues with that. But honestly, as long as the content is the same, I am fine although it is a little bit annoying i can't complain too much but yeah the art is so 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 pretty oh my gosh i cannot wait to read this i have yet to read the other two so i will probably start reading this soon having a nice binge read um I did read this online, however, once I saw that this was coming out in print, I did stop. So I do know the premise, what exactly is going on, but I'm very excited to do a reread and then continue on from where I left off. The next volume I got is... Okay, so I'll just show you. I got a condition called Love Volume 1 and I think I said in my previous vlog that I wasn't trying to click this um, soon because I wanted to wait for more volumes but I saw it in store and I could not just say no because uh, how could I honestly? I love this series. I have some of the Japanese volumes. I love this series to death. It is by far one of my all-time favorite shoujo's one I highly recommend and the minute I saw this again I was like oh, you know what let's get it so yes this is another one I have started to collect and I'm just so excited so I will be doing a reread of this obviously because this is like quite um old content um compared to what I am up to however I have stopped reading the scans because I decided 
I want to at least experience some of like the newness, if that makes sense, of this series through the prints. So I have stopped reading the scans. So now it's just going to be me catching up to where I left off from the scans, which I think was like volume 11. So we've got a way to go, but I will say a primary reason why I decided to pick up volume 1 is because volume two was already out surprisingly um Kandahatsha seems to be printing these really fast um i swear i just went like last week and they only had volume one but then when i came back there was a volume two so i don't know like what's the exactly like printing schedule for this series but it seems to be printing pretty fast um once again the material like the texture is different this is definitely more if you can hear it it's more like a i would say like a grainy sort and this is definitely more like smooth so i'm not exactly sure what's going on it's not a big difference to me but if you're like super particular about your manga i think this may become an issue i'm not even sure but oh my gosh I'm so happy. Honestly, this is a series that it was like, it's about time Kadasha printed this in print um, rather than having it just be stuck in digital prison. But I'm so happy to have this and to reread them. And I'm just, I'm so happy. Like, we need more shoujis like this printed. And honestly, Thank you, Kanaja, finally. So yeah, I'm so happy. And oh my gosh, just look how cute it is. I oh, I cannot wait, honestly. Moving on. The next thing I got is another continuing volume from a series I already own, but a series like I absolutely love. And I think you guys know how much I love it. And it is The King's Beast Volume 9. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even know this was out. I was originally going to get like either a volume of Jujutsu Kaisen or the novel or Kaiju number eight volume five. But the minute I saw this, I immediately like dropped all of this and like I picked this up because how can I say no to this series? Volume eight left on such a big cliff um cliffhanger that I needed the rest so of course i had to get this and oh my gosh i'm so excited i cannot wait to read this but i know like i'm gonna read it so fast that i'm gonna be waiting for the next one so i don't know if i want to like savor this and wait until more volumes come out or do i just want to read this and suffer i really don't know but i'm so happy to have this um i know we are catching up to the japanese release um, because I know the Japanese volumes, uh, the releases aren't super fast, I would say. I think Jap Japan is up to like volume 11 or something. So we are getting there. So I think um, this is definitely going to be slowing down their releases now that we've, we're, now that we're like quite close to where Japan is up to. So that's really a shame, but honestly, that's fine i think i don't know i just <laughs> i just love this series so much and if you have not read it i highly recommend but yeah and then the last two things i got technically isn't manga but it's like adjacent to it so the first thing i got is um thousand autumns so this is another um dame not by mxtx i think i've decided i do want to get every um dame release by seven seas um because everyone seems to like i i don't know why i've been seeing this a lot on my for you page now on tiktok and it seems really interesting so i am excited um so yeah uh this one however i have no idea exactly what is the like plot or like the premise um i just picked it up because it just um released and was selling at books kina kunia and i had the voucher so i'm like i should pick it up because down maze like especially are quite expensive um they are really nice quality but they are quite expensive 
but yeah i'm very interested to see what this is about so let's see Hmm, okay, reading it, it sounds pretty interesting. It sounds like, sort of like, I don't know, like, it sounds really interesting, honestly. Okay, I'm definitely more excited now reading it. I know I should actually, like, read it, but, um, before purchasing it, but I, ha I, ha I have heard a lot of praise for this series, um, and I've really been in a huge, like, just Dan May. Like, I've really been looking for a lot of Dan Mays to read. So, I'm very excited about this now. Okay. Ooh. I think I was actually going to watch the um, animation for this because I did see, like, an edit and I was like, ooh, seems kind of interesting. But then I realized it's um, Thousand Autumns, and I'm like, oh, I'll just read the novel then. And ooh, 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 I'm kind of, I think, I think what I really am excited is I really like the dynamic, what I'm like reading between the two. And I think it's going to be quite like an interesting dynamic. So I'm very excited for this. So I'm just curious. So this, they did not combine the um, chapters because I know um, all the MXCX novels, their chapters have been combined. I know in the Husky Cat and his White Dog, no, Husky, oh my gosh, what am I saying? The Husky Dog and his White Cat, that one, I know the chapters were not combined and hint, hint, I did get that. Um, so you'll be seeing that in this haul, but yeah, I'm super excited. I'm just, oh, I don't want to like spoil myself with the illustrations, but I'm really excited. I feel like Don Maze, I go by so quickly just because they're so good. Um, so I'm super happy about this. Okay, so yeah. And then the final thing I got, which is, oh another really exciting pickup and that is villains are destined to die volume two so i did pick up the first one i think a while ago but um this came out and obviously i had to get it because um as you guys know this is i would say at the current moment this is my favorite manhwa alongside i've been really enjoying um true love operation pure love operation true love operation something like that <laughs> so I, forget, I get the name mixed up but i really been enjoying that one as well but this like in terms of like reincarnation villainous um sort of thing this has been like my favorite i was actually caught up with it but then i decided to stop once again because i want to read it through the print um now but I'm so excited. I'm so happy, honestly. And, like, I'm so glad that more manhwas are getting printed in um, English. However, they are quite expensive. But honestly, this I can understand. It's in full color. And that's a lot of money for printing, so I understand. But it is quite a shame um, when you're trying to collect it. But, um,. Oh, oh my gosh okay oh, oh my gosh volume three okay sorry volume three has that scene and the fireworks scene in the attic if you guys know it oh my gosh that is like one of my favorite scenes of all time and i'm pretty sure that ends um uh season one when it was releasing in chapters and stuff but yeah oh my gosh i'm so happy and uh, the addition of these are so pretty like the paper is a bit oh it's a bit bent but yeah i'm so happy to have this so that is everything i got in this haul not a lot but um as i said before i got my more expensive volume so this did add up to around like 150 which kind of sad looking at it but anyway that is it for this um, clip and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Hey guys, 
welcome so this is going to be the final clip for this unboxing video so it is from book depository this is something i was not planning on getting but i just the more i read this series the more i'm like you know what i just really need to get this so i'm so excited to show you guys so let's open this up of the scum villain self-saving system however this is the limited edition or special edition whatever i forgot the name i'm pretty sure it's a special edition i wasn't planning on getting this um in the beginning i think in my last um haul collective haul video that i got all of the darn maids from mxtx i was like i wasn't planning on getting this um i would rather like get the special editions for like uh heaven's official blessing however i actually gave the series a shot i read it um i'm up to the fourth volume actually i'm reading just like the extra chapters and i can confirm that i love this series this series was so 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 good so i just had to get it when i saw that this was in stock on book depository i don't know how they got more but i saw it was in stock and i'm like i love this series so much and i want to own some merch because there is like no merch for this series or so little and they're so expensive especially like the nendroids i've been trying to look for like decent prices for the nendroids and i'm like why are these so hard to find so i just had to get this i know there's nothing special besides coming with some merch but i just need some like merch of this series so i caved and i got the special edition so yeah i don't know where they got this but i'm really surprised that it came back in stock so let's open it so there is like they did this like weird thing where there's like a paper attached to it that says like special edition um even though like underneath i don't know why they did that honestly um so i think i can take this off i think it's just like yeah it's like stuck on so I'll probably get rid of this because i don't want this on my thing so it's just like some like it's like the sticky dots that are just like on it but yeah so it's just like a paper that says what comes with it um but i think i'll just rather have it like this oh my gosh okay so here is for the merch i'm so excited so i'm pretty sure Everything else is the same and I have done um, an unboxing of this so I won't really go through this but let's go through the merch. I'm so excited. Okay, so first of all are the posters. I'm definitely putting these on my wall. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at them bro. They're so cute. I love them so much. I can't be like people say this is their least favorite because like it's so good bro i love them so much this series just was so funny i just loved it so much it was such a good read oh my gosh i cannot wait to put these up on my wall because i'm definitely doing that oh yes this is so pretty what the hell oh my gosh this is so pretty i am just obsessed oh my gosh okay and then these are like some postcards so i'm pretty sure this is like the art of all the covers so yes of course i'm definitely gonna be all of these are like getting put up somewhere bro because like they're just so stunning. I'm so glad um, Seven Seas decided to do this um, like sort of like special edition thing. I definitely think they should do this for um, 
other series i think publishers should definitely start doing this more oh no it's folded but it's some stickers so i'm saying that's fine i probably won't i i don't think i'll use these i don't think i could but the art is super cute and then a bookmark so yes oh my gosh this is so cute oh sorry this is so cute oh my gosh i'm so happy i i definitely did pay a little bit more for this um but i'm just surprised this even came back in stock i didn't know because i know like this was a limited time thing they did um Cinecities did say that but i don't know how they got some stock in but i am honestly not complaining because i'm so happy to have this now oh my gosh so yeah um so this is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed i definitely did ramble a lot on quite a few of these but i hope you guys don't mind um i had so much fun opening all these packages they were definitely a nice little treat um after this uh, crazy um school term but yeah thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys next time bye